Hello everyone, Jay Todd here at the Global Gaming Expo. I've caught up with Mr. Chris Capra, a uh, real gaming guru here. You've worked with a lot of people. You've worked with online, you've worked with land base, you've been with Tropicana in New Jersey, you've been with 888, uh, just a whole plethora of people. So who better to talk to about the future of where we're moving in this country from a regulatory perspective when it comes to iGaming affiliates, and I know you're all interested in that. Sir, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, tell me, in, in your experience, I, I know that New Jersey has opportunities for affiliates, and we've got a lot of states coming on now. Where are we? Is it is it something similar? Is affiliate marketing right now in the United States anything similar to what it has been in the past and what people in other jurisdictions outside the United States may know? Well, I think you're going to see a lot of similarities to other jurisdictions and the fact that the affiliate marketing, uh, the affiliate channel is a solid marketing channel for your operators, both online as well as the land-based uh, casino operators. Um, it's part of the mix that we utilize to gain new players. Uh, and the things that we like about uh, the affiliate channel are threefold. One is it is a performance marketing channel, meaning we only pay for the players that they bring across the line based upon our, our uh, criteria. Number two, we can kind of control how much we're paying uh, to, for the most part uh, uh, for those players. And number three, we can kind of gear up and, and turn it on and without a lot of investment up front uh, until until the players actually come in from the affiliate. So um, it's, a, it's a very good channel uh, for us as part of our overall marketing mix. And I think you're going to see very similar kind of um, opportunities in the United States as we roll out, especially sports betting, which I think is going to be the catalyst across the country for a lot more online gaming uh, opportunities. And then eventually I think casino is going to follow suit with it. I agree. You know, sports betting has the opportunity to open up a lot of doors for online gambling in America in general. Uh, we're seeing it right now just jump from state to state like wildfire. Um, affiliates, however, that have been working traditionally strictly with online and not necessarily with land-based operators are used to, you know, high rev shares, you know, 25, 35, 45 percent high CPA models. Is this something that's really sustainable? in a regulated environment with, with land-based operations attached to it? Well, I think there is the opportunity to do revenue share and CPAs in the regulated markets. I think there's going to be a little more re realization of uh, the revenue, the amounts that are going into that. Uh, in New Jersey, for example, we have really only had the CPA model to use over the last four years because there were a lot of regulatory restrictions on uh, companies uh, trying to gain the uh, ancillary license, which allowed them to do revenue share. So I think if you look at New Jersey, uh, we're a mature market. The affiliate uh, portion of that has worked pretty well for the most part. Uh, we've gotten good players from it. Um, and if you want to look at it going into other jurisdictions, uh, learn from New Jersey with the CPA model, but also add in uh, the ability to do more revenue share type of deals. This gives the operators, both online and the casino operators, the ability to kind of mix and match how they work with affiliates. It brings the affiliate in as a partner more than just a media source for us. Uh, and it allows for long-term kind of care of the player, which I think they have more so in, in Europe and other jurisdictions where there's revenue share. Um, it gives the ability for us to market with the affiliate, not a, kind of against them uh, as we do in New Jersey right now, and to keep the players on the on the platforms longer, playing longer with, with greater incentives. I think we all kind of share in the risk then that happens. All right, last question, a little bit complicated. There's naturally going to be a vetting process if someone wants to be an affiliate in New Jersey or whatever jurisdiction. Uh, my understanding from other jurisdictions I was speaking to is that the, the vetting process might be a little bit different uh, if, say, you want to just do uh, a CPA model as opposed to going full rev share. Um, and I know that jurisdictionally that will change uh, from one state to another. But say uh, an affiliate is in Europe right now or the UK and they're like, you know, I'd really like to explore working with these regulated jurisdictions in America, uh, someone that's outside of that jurisdiction, is that a, a possibility? Can somebody, a, a foreign affiliate, work with New Jersey? And if so, are they going to be restricted to marketing to players in that jurisdiction? Or if, it, if it's a shared liquidity model, will they be able to expand and market to other markets? 
So for a foreign operator, um, having U.S. operations is going to be critical for that. And then you are going to have to go state by state. So the regulations are going to uh, change as far as the requirements for affiliates in each state. Hopefully, like I said, they learn from the New Jersey model and they open up the uh, revenue share side of it, a little, make it a little easier for, for affiliates to qualify under that. Um, and then you're going to have to, you are going to have to segment your audience for that. So it's not going to make uh, financial sense for you to target, especially if you're doing outbound marketing or, or buying ads in jurisdictions where you cannot uh, monetize the players coming in. Uh, if you want to do it to build up a database ahead of maybe that jurisdiction uh, legalizing, that's good. But if it's never going to, say, like a Washington state, then it would be obviously important to avoid that from a financial standpoint. I love that you mentioned Washington State, <laughs> where I live, but that's very informative. I'm sure that every other webmaster out there not living in Washington State really appreciates that information. Mr. Capra, thank you so much for coming on with us. I appreciate it.